The Arabic Holy Quran revealed upon the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, during the years 609 to 632 CE is divided into 114 chapters, of which 86 chapters revealed in Mecca, 28 chapters revealed in the Medina. The chapters revealed in Mecca deals mainly in the Islamic creed, example, belief in Allah the Omnipresent and the Eternal, His angels, His books, His messengers, Resurrection and Judgment Day, and the Divine preordained good and bad. Total chapter revealed in the Medina deals mainly in moral principles, legislations, community development, and warfare. The Holy Quran can only be read and recited in its original revealed Arabic language. Quran, Chapter 2, The Cow, Revelation Place, Medina, Revelation Order 87, Number of Verses 286. Alif, Lam, Mim. A lot of speculations and opinions on these standalone letters slash words. They are at the start of selected Quran chapters. They are not part of a sentence that can guide us to understand their meaning or compare them to other similar sentences in the Quran, nor these standalone letter words are continuation to other chapters that can give us insight in their meaning. Usually, when a word is part of a sentence and that word is new or has multiple meanings, to better understand it, meaning it helps to compare it when it appears again in the Quran. And by comparing them, we can better understand the meaning of that word. But these standalone letters are not part of any sentence, even if repeated, they are still standalone. Despite they are letters in the form of words, no one could explain their meaning over the century, since Allah did not guide us to their meaning like other new or unfamiliar words in the Quran. To put things in perspective, the Arabic language has around 12 million words versus the English language around 600,000 words. For example, there are over 200 Arabic words for the English word lion. My personal view is without Allah's guidance, nothing can be understood. So these letters or standalone letters should be an example of our dependency on Allah's guidance in our life and via his straight path, the Quran. And Allah knows best. This is the book with no suspicious in it, Guidance for the Pious. Those who believe in abstina, basically uh, unseen, example Allah, his angels, judgment day, the preordained by Allah, good and bad, and perform prayers and spend from what we have provided them and who believe in what was descended upon you, for example, the Quran, and what was descended prior to you, for example, the Torah and the Gospel, and of the hereafter, they are certain. They are faithfully certain of the hereafter. Th those are upon guidance from their God, and those will cultivate their good deeds. Those who are infidel, it is the same for them, whether you warn them, or don't warn them, they will not believe. Allah had applied a seal on their hearts and hearing, and on their vision a vellum, and for them a great torture. And among the people are those who say, we believe in Allah and the last day, but they are not believers. They are trying to deceive Allah and the believers, but they deceive none but themselves without feeling it. In their hearts is sickness, so Allah increased their sickness, for them a painful torture due to their lies. And when it said to them, don't cause corruption on earth, they say, but we are reformers. However, they are the corruptors and they don't feel it. And when it said to them, believe as the people has believed, they say, shall we believe as the foolish has believed? In fact, they are the foolish, but they don't know it. 
And when they come across those who believe, they say, we believe. But when they are alone with their evil ones, they say, we are always with you. We were only mocking. Allah mocks them and prolongs them in their self-tyranny to wander blindly. So those are the ones that purchased misguidance by guidance. So their trade brought no profit and they were not guided. Their example is that of one who kindled a fire and when it illuminated what was around him, Allah took away their light and left them in darkness without sight. Dumb, deaf and blind, they will not return. Or like a rainstorm from the sky within a darkness, thunder and lightning, they keep their fingers in their ears from thunderbolt, worry of death, but Allah surrounds the disbeliever. The lightning almost snatches their sight away. Whenever it lights for them, they walk in it. And when it darkens on them, they stand still. And if Allah had willed, he could have let go away their hearing and sight. Indeed, Allah is capable of everything. O oh people, worship your God who created you and those before you, that you may become pious who made the earth a cushion for you and the sky a structure and sent down from the sky water to bring out with it fruits of livelihood for you. So don't attribute with, with Allah powers while you know. And if you are in doubt that we are sending it, meaning the Quran, down on our servant, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then bring a chapter similar to it. And you can call upon your witnesses other than Allah if you are truthful. But if you don't and you will not do, then fend yourself from the fire whose fuel is people and stones is ready for the disbelievers. Bring good tidings to those who believe and do righteous deeds, that they have gardens under which rivers run. Every time it provides them with provision of fruit, they will say, this is what we were provided before. It was brought to them in resemblance, mean uh, in nostalgia. And they will have therein purified spouses and they will be in it eternally. Indeed, Allah is not shy to strike an example of a gnat, a mosquito example, and what above it, smaller or on top of it. As for those who have believed, they know it's the truth from their God. But those who disbelieved say, what did Allah want it by that parable? By it, many will let go stray and many will be guided. But only the dissolute will by it stray. Who, these dissolute, resent Allah's covenant after its binding and sever that what Allah ordered to be joined and cause corruption on earth. Those are the losers. How can you disbelieve in Allah when you were dead, then he gave you life, then will cause you to die, then bring you to life, then to him you shall be returned? Is he who created for you all that is in the earth, then leveled himself to the sky and leveled them into seven heavens? He is the all-knowing of everything. As your God said to the angels, I am making in the earth a successor, a visory. Adam and Eve was created to live on earth and was not expelled to the earth from paradise. They said, the angels, you will make in it who will commit corruption in it. By nature, a successor with free will, free choice, self-learning ruler would logically result in conflicts and corruption. And shed blood while we glorify your praises and sanctify you. Allah said, I know what you don't know means Allah have a plan and among them these new uh, successor will be messenger, prophets, believer, pious, righteous people, etc. And Allah taught Adam all the names, the necessary nouns of things around him to act as a successor, also as he is a learning new creation. Then displayed them, these objects, upon the angels and said, inform me of their names if you are truthful mean truthful about your complaint about this new creation. They said, the angels, your glory, we have no knowledge except what you had taught us. You are the all-knowing, the all-wise. Basically, angel obey God with no choice of good or bad or have no learning ability. 
said Allah, O Adam, inform them of their names, names of these objects. And when he informed them of their names, said Allah, did I not tell you that I know the abstina of the heavens and the earth and know what you appear to reveal and what you have concealed? Mainly about the angel concern about this new creation. And as we told the angels prostrate to Adam, they prostrated, except Iblis refused and was haughty, proud, and became of the disbelievers. And we said, O oh Adam, dwell you and your couple, Eve, Hawa, in paradise, and eat both of you from it delightful, wherever you want, and don't approach this tree. Then you will be of the unjust. Be unjust to yourself by disobeying God. It's a practice for them to learn to exercise their free choice, free will, and make decision by themselves. So Satan, means Iblis, removed them, both Adam and Eve, from it and gets them out from the state they were in. And we said, descend, some of you, means Adam, his offspring, Eve and Satan, you will be foe to each other and you will find in the earth settlement and sustenance for a time. Then Adam was indoctrinated, was told by Allah, some words of repentance from his Lord. So he, his Lord, repented upon him. Indeed, he is the repentance, the merciful. We said, descend from it, all of you. Me, again, Adam, Eve, and all his uh, successors and Satan. And when guidance come to you from me, then whoever will follow my guidance, there is no fear on them, nor they shall grieve. And those who disbelieve and belie or deny our signs, those are the owners of the fire, and they are in it eternally. O oh, children of Israel, mention my boon, which I bestowed on you, and fulfill my covenant. I fulfill your covenant. And only, O, oh, means fear me. And believe in what we have sent down, ratifying what you have. And don't be the first disbeliever of it. And don't buy with my revelations small price. It means a worldly benefit by covering up Muhammad's peace being upon him, prophecy, per the Torah, to try and keep religious advice in their lineage, to sell and alter it for worldly gain basically turning God's revelation into worldly currency. And don't enclose the truth with the void, falsehood, and silence the truth while you know it. And establish prayer, maintain connection with Allah at all times, not only performing prayers at this time. And bring back zakat and kneel with the kneelers. Do you order people to be obedient and forget yourselves, yet you recite the book, the Torah? Don't you comprehend, mean understand the consequences of your acts? And seek help through patience and prayer. It is a big task except for the reverence. Who suppose that they will meet their God and to him they will return. O oh, children of Israel, Recall my boon that I bestowed on you, and I favored you, means made messenger and revealed books in your lineage, over the walls of that time, and fend yourself from a day when no soul will give tribute on behalf of another soul for anything, and no intercession will also be accepted from it, and no redemption will be taken from it, nor they will triumph. And when we saved you from the people of Pharaoh, when he inflicted on you a range of persecution, they slaughtered your sons and spared your women, and in that was a great ordeal from your God. And as we parted with you the sea and drowned the people of Pharaoh while you look, and as we had an appointment with Moses for forty nights, then you took the calf in his absence, and you are wrongdoers. Then we forgave you after that, so you can be thankful. So, as we brought to Moses the book and the criterion, so you may be guided, 
And as Moses said to his folks, you had wronged yourself by taking the calf. So repent your maker and kill yourself. Be in one another, kill yourself and return back to your maker, that self that disobeyed. Which is better for you at your maker than he, means God, repent upon them. He is the repentance, the merciful. He gave them another chance. And you said, O Moses, we will not believe you until we see Allah overtly. Means outright in the open. God has to materialize to them. That shows lack of faith, need to see material things to trust and believe. So the thunderbolt snatch you while you are looking. Then we, God, resurrected you after your death so that you may be thankful. And we shaded you with clouds and sent down to you the men, sweet mist, and quails. Eat from the goods we provided you. But the children of Israel did not wrong us, but they were wrong doing themselves. They were told to eat all. They ate some and saved some. They had no trust in God's promise to help them. And we said, enter this village and eat from its abundance wherever you will. And enter the gate prostrating and saying, lift our sins. We will forgive your wrongdoing and add to the well-doer. So substituted the wrongdoers, the sayings, by other than what has been said to them by Allah. So we brought down upon the wrongdoers filthy punishment, the plague, from the sky for their disobedience. And as Moses asked for water, from God, only the provider of water in this condition, for his people. We said, strike with your staff the stone. It's another visible material miracle to firm belief in the hearts of the Israelites. And there gushed from it 12 springs for the 12 tribes of the 12 children of Israel, who is Jacob. Already all people knew their drinking spot, Eat and drink from Allah's sustenance and don't overly, mean intentionally corrupt, in the earth. And you, means the children of Israel, said, O Moses, we will not have patience on one kind of food. So call for us your God to bring for us from what the earth grows of its legumes and cucumber and grits and lentil and onions. Said Moses, you replace what's lower by what is well-being, what God gave you as a gift. Fall down to a town, means to where you were before enslaved by Pharaoh. You will get what you asked for and was sealed unto them hardship, humiliation and misery. And they get Allah's epidemic anger. Anger equal to the disobedient passes from generation to generation until they change their ways or until they follow what is the, in their Torah, including that Muhammad is the final messenger. Because I disbelieved in Allah's sign and killed the prophets without any right and that they disobeyed and they were transgressors. Those who believed at that time Muslim were called believers and those who were Jews and Christians and Sabians mean converts, who believes in Allah and the last day and did righteous deeds, for them is their rewards at their God, and there is no fear on them, nor they shall grieve. As mean recalled children of Israel, when we took your covenant, when we lifted on top of you the mountain, take what we brought you, means the Torah, forcefully, seriously, and recite what is in it. Maybe you will become pious. Then you turned away after that. If not for Allah's excess boon upon you and his mercy, you would have been with the self-losers. And you, the Jews, had knowledge from your Torah about those who transgressed in the Sabbath, we said to them, be despised apes, I mean in manner or physical, Allah knows best. We made this punishment, this despised ape punishment, for those who owns it, means transgressed at that time, and who come forward, 
means future generations. And as an exhortation, an example or an admonition for the pious, means uh, don't disobey Allah like the people of the Sabbath who became apes uh, and Allah knows best. As when Moses told his people that Allah commands you to slaughter a cow, uh, it's a belief command to do Allah's command first, then Allah command reason will be revealed later. They said, do you take us in mockery? He said, I take refuge in Allah that I be among the mockers. They said, call upon your God to clear to us what is she? It's a vague question. He, means God, said, it's a cow, not old nor young or in between. So do what you are commanded. They said, call upon your God to clear to us its color. He, means God, said, it's yellowish cow, bright colored, pleasing to the observers. They said, call upon your God to clear to us which one the cows look alike to us and we, if Allah willing, will be guided. Said Moses, he, means God, says, it's a cow not subservient from plowing the earth nor watering the tilth, sound without blemish. They said, now you have brought the truth. So they slaughtered her and they had preserved not to do it. it. Means they tried to avoid manipulate and almost did not obey God's command to slaughter the cow. And as you killed the soul and you denied among yourself, but Allah brought forth what you concealed. Uh, they concealed the identity of the killer to avoid paying blood money per the Torah's command. We said, strike with a part of it strike the dead person with a part of the slaughtered cow this is how allah revives the dead and shows you his signs this is the reason the cow was slaughtered so you may acknowledge acknowledge how allah has knowledge of the future and remind that he can revive the dead another physical miracle to the children of israel do you the believers the muslims covet means aspire that they, the Jews, believe you, while a group of them heard Allah's words, which is the Torah, and then distorted it after they rationalized it knowingly. And they distorted the Torah intentionally. And as they, the Jews in the Medina during Muhammad's time, meet those who believed, they say, we believed. And when they meet each other in private, they say, do you converse with them, the believers, of what Allah had revealed to you, means in the Torah about Muhammad's attributes, that they may use it as an argument at your God? Can't you reason? The Jews say among themselves, don't reveal to the believers, which is Muslims at that time, what's in our Torah so they don't use against us as an argument in favor of the prophets, peace be upon him prophecy and the Quran but don't they mean the Jews know that Allah knows what they keep secret and what they declare and among them the Jews are illiterates who has no knowledge of the book the Torah except hopes they are misguided and they have wishful thinking but they are only assuming that they assume that they are right with no understanding and knowledge of the Torah. So woe to those who are writing the book, the Torah, with their hands. Then they say, it's from Allah to purchase with it a small price, a worldly price. So woe to them from what their hands have written, and woe to them from what they earned. And they, the Jews, said the fire, the hell fire, will not even touch us except for countable days. Some claims it's the 40 days they worshipped the golden calf. Say, Muhammad peace be upon him, if you have taken a pact from Allah, Allah will never return on his pact. But do you say about Allah what you don't know? No, who earned the sin and engulfed 
in its wrongdoing. They will be the hellfire companions and they are in it eternally. And those who believed and did good deeds, they are companions of paradise. They are in it eternally. And as we took the covenant from the children of Israel, don't worship except Allah and to parents be generously kind and to your relatives and to the orphans and those in need and say what is righteous to the people and uphold prayers and bring alm, which is deliver zakah, the religious taxes. Then they, mean the children of Israel, turn back except a few of you and you were refusing means they intentionally disobeyed and turned away on their covenant with Allah except a few of them and as we took your covenant not to shed each other's blood and don't expel each other from your homes all the 12 tribes of uh, Jacob are to be treated as one person one soul then you endorsed it while witnessing it. Then here you are killing yourself, mean killing each other and expelling a group of yours from their homes and you support one another against them in self, sinful and aggression. And if they come to you as captives, as war hostages, you ransom them. And it was forbidden on you to expel them, means in the first place. Do you believe in part of the book, the Torah, the part of the ransom? And disbelieve in part, the Torah, the part of expelling them? The penalty for who does that among you will be humiliation in the worldly life. And on the day of resurrection will be sent back to serve torments. And Allah is not oblivious of what you're doing. As some of them claim Allah is busy and depends on them to do their worldly work. Those are the ones that bought this worldly life with the hereafter. Neither their torment will be lightened nor they will be aided. And we brought to Moses the book, which is the Torah, and followed after him with messengers. And we brought to Isa, son of Maryam, the clear evidence, which is uh, Jesus' miracles, and strengthened him with the sacred spirit, which is Gabriel. And every time a messenger come to you with what yourself don't desire, you become arrogant. A group you fib, mean claim they are liars, and a group you are killing. And they said, the children of Israel, our hearts are wrapped, means already sealed on the knowledge we have got from God through the Torah. We need no more new revelations. No, Allah has cursed them with their disbelief, mean sealed their hearts by their disbelief, not to believe in new revelation. So little what they believe means a few of them believes in a little or some of what they got. And when there came unto them a book from Allah, which is the Quran, ratifying with what they have, the Torah, and they were before that used to invoke against the disbelievers, threatening with the coming messenger that will support them to rule over the non-Jews, the disbelievers. And when came to them what they knew, Expect the expected messenger based on the Torah's description, which is Muhammad, peace be upon him. They disbelieved in him. So Allah's curse upon the disbeliever. Misery what they sold their soul for by disbelieving in what Allah brought down, the Torah, and by grudging in what Allah is bringing down from his grace, the Quran, upon whomever he wishes from his worshippers. Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, they built excess envy as they expected the coming messenger to be in Israel lineage, not their brothers Ismail. That will lead to loss in status as the chosen people, including material financial loss from their alleged religion advisory status as the chosen ones. So they incurred wrath upon wrath. 
rest from disbelieving, not following the Torah for concealing its truth about the future messenger, Muhammad peace be upon him, and another wrath for not believing in the Quran. And for the disbelievers, a humiliating punishment. And as was said to them by Muhammad in the Quran, believe in what Allah brought down. They said, we believe in what was brought down on us in the Torah and disbelieve in what follows, while it, the Quran is the truth ratifying what they have. Say, so why you kill Allah's prophets from before if you were believers? They are not even following the Torah. They used to kill Allah's prophets. These prophets are good humans example to follow. But Allah would not allow them to kill his messengers. Example, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them. Uh, which uh, they are prophets with a holy message, a book. Example, the Torah, Gospel, the Quran. And indeed, Moses had come to you with the clear signs, you know, the miracles. Then you took the calf after him and you were wrongdoers. As we took your covenant and raised above you Altur, Mount Tur, take what has been given to you with force, I believe the Ten Commandments, and listen and obey. They, the children of Israel, say, we heard and disobeyed, and their hearts were absorbed by the calf and disobedience. The, say, miserable what your belief commands you to do if you are believers. Say, if the hereafter habitat at Allah is for you purely from other people, then wish for death if you are truthful. They will never wish for it ever because of what their hands put forth, and Allah is all knower of the wrongdoer. You will find them the most careful of people for life, and even more than the polytheist pagans, as the pagans wrongly believe that there is no life after death and no judgment to fear. They would love each of them if they last a thousand years. Even if he will, it will not budge him from the torment if he lives it. And Allah is all seeing what they are doing. Say, means Muhammad, peace be upon him, whoever is an enemy to Gabriel, Jews view angel Gabriel as a bearer of bad news, an enemy, versus Michael. It's he, Gabriel, who brought it, means the Quran, on your heart by Allah's permission, sealing what in his, means Allah's, possession, means confirming and finalizing what in Allah's possession of the Torah, the Gospel, before that, and guidance and glad tidings for the believers. And whoever is an enemy to Allah and his angels and his messengers and Gabriel and Michael, then Allah is an enemy to those disbelievers. And we send down to you clear signs uh, to Muhammad the Quran with knowledge and guidance and mercy. And none disbelieve in them except the dissolute. Or every time they make a covenant, a group of them threw it away. Nay, but most of them don't believe. And one came to them, the children of Israel again, a messenger, Muhammad peace be upon him, from Allah confirming to what they have in the Torah, a group whom had received the book, meaning the Jews who had the Torah, discarded Allah's book, which is the Quran, behind their backs as if they don't have knowledge of it. And they, the children of Israel, followed what the devils recite upon the reign of Solomon. And Solomon was not infidel, but the devils were infidels. They teach people magic and what was revealed by the two angels at Babylon, Harut and Marut, whom they did not teach anyone until they say, we are temptation. So don't disbelieve, don't follow our teacher. We are here to test your belief. They, people who learn the magic, learn from them what causes a divide between man and wife, but they are not harming with it anyone without Allah's permission. And they learn what harm them and don't benefit them 
and they were told in the Torah before, what they bought will have them no share in the afterlife, mean of magic, learning magic will cause them misery in this life and afterlife. Misery for what they sold their soul for if they knew by abandoning the Torah knowledge and following the temptation of the learned magic by Harut and Marut. And if they, the magic doers, kept their faith and fended, mean obey Allah, a reward from Allah would have been better if they knew. Oh, you have believed, the Muslims at that time were called believers. Don't say Ra'ina. It's an accent slang word that the Jews used its double meaning in Hebrew, which means trivial or foolishness, to deceivingly insult the Prophet and his message. But say guide us and then listen, mean listen and obey. And to the unbeliever, the Jews who used this word and did not listen and obey, a painful torment. Would love not the unbelievers from the people of the book and the polytheist that would come down upon you any good from your God, but Allah will specialize his mercy to whomever he wills, and Allah is the possess possessor of the greatest generosities. We do not abrogate a verse or cause it to be forgotten. We bring a better than it, or similar to it. Example, changing the prayer direction to Mecca. Did you not know that Allah is above everything able? Did you not know that Allah has dominion of the heavens and the earth? And you don't have any guardian except Allah, nor a supporter? Or do you, means Muslims, want to ask your messenger like Moses was asked before? Example, uh, can we see God to believe? The question they ask to avoid obedience in the aforementioned case of the cow selection. And who exchanged this belief from belief are certainly has gone astray from the midst path. In Islam, the balance mid path is the best, not far to the left, not far to the right. Would love many of the people of the book if they can turn you back after you had believed to disbelievers out of envy from themselves after the truth became clear to them in the Quran and also Muhammad is a messenger of Allah. So forgive and put behind you until Allah brings his command. Allah is capable over everything. Establish prayer and bring zakat and whatever good you present forward for yourself, you shall find with Allah. For Allah with what you do is seeing. And they, the Jews and the Christians said, none shall enter paradise unless who was a Jew. Means the Jews said only the Jews will enter paradise or Christian. The Christians said only Christians will enter paradise. These are their hopes. Say, bring your proof if you are truthful. No, this time Allah is answering direct both the Jews and the Christian and telling them that they are wrong. But who surrender his face to Allah while good doer has his wages at his Lord and no fear will be upon them, nor they will grieve. The Jews said the Christians are upon nothing and the Christians said the Jews are upon nothing and they are reciting the book, the Torah and the gospel. Like this said who has no knowledge, similar saying. It's a shame on both of them pointing finger to each other while they have guidance from the Torah and the Gospel. Allah will judge between them on the day of resurrection in what they differ. And who is most unjust than who prevent the prostrate places of Allah to have his name mentioned in it? Places of worship, mosque, temple, churches, the entire earth is Allah's prayer place. Means freedom of prayer everywhere and strive to destruct them. It was not rightful for them to enter them, mean destruct them, except with fear, fear of the power of the United Muslim and believer defending Allah places of worship. For, th for them in this world, opprobrium, and for them in the hereafter, great torment. And to Allah belongs the sunrise and the sunset, means all directions. So wherever you face, 
there is Allah's face, for Allah is all spacious, all knowing. And they said, Allah has taken a child, praise to him, notify, for him belongs whatever in the heavens and the earth, all for him are obedient, originator of the heavens and the earth, and if he decrees a matter, he but say to it, be, so it becomes. See, those who has no knowledge, mainly the pagan of Mecca, why not Allah speak to us or bring us a sign? Likewise said the ones before them, same saying, their hearts are alike. The Jews ask Moses if they can see Allah or bring them signs, even though God got them a lot of signs, they still didn't believe. So the pagans of Mecca are the same, similar like them, even if God brings signs to them, they still has doubt and will not believe in their hearts. We have shown our signs for those people who undoubtedly believe, those people who are open for belief to become faithful and certain. God has shown them his signs. We have sent you, means Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the truth, which is the Quran, bearer of glad tidings and warner, and you will not be questioned about the companions of hellfire. Means it's not your mission to make people believe or disbelieve. Just deliver Allah's message, the Quran, and follow Allah's path. Never will the Jews be satisfied with you, Muhammad peace be upon him, nor the Christians until you follow each one denomination. Basically, the Jews and the Christians are in odds. So you will be asked by them to choose sides and choose from multiple denominations. So regardless what you choose, you will lose. Say Allah's guidance is the guidance. And if you, means Muhammad, peace be upon him, follow their, means the Jews and the Christian whims, which is distorted beliefs, after what you received from knowledge, the Quran, you will have no guardian, no helper from Allah means if you do not follow Allah, you will lose all. You will lose the Jews, the Christian, and Allah. Those whom we brought to them the book, the scripture, the Jews, the Christian, and the Muslim, that recite it, write reciteful, those do believe in it. And whoever disbelieve in it, those are the losers. O children of Israel, mention my grace that I bestowed on you, and I had favored you over other nations by sending prophet and messengers from their lineage. And fend a day when no self will tribute to another self anything, and no justice will be accepted from it. Means no one will bear your burden, your sin on judgment day. Nor intercession will avail, nor they will be victorious. Means there will be no option of I will pay for my sins, or someone will take my place, or Jesus will save me, or we can unite and fight back. When Abraham was tested with words by his God, mean commands from his God, he fulfilled them, said, Allah, I will make you for the people an imam, means forefront role model. Said, means Abraham, and my offsprings, said Allah, my covenant is not extended to the unjust, means who would not follow Allah's path from Abraham's offspring is not part of Allah's covenant. We made the house, means the Kaaba at Mecca, a place of return for the people and a sanctuary. Take, means O believer Muslims, Abraham's standing place a prayer site. We made a covenant to Abraham and Ismail to purify my house for the circumambulating it and staying and those who bow and prostrate. And as Abraham said, my Lord make this place a peaceful spot and provide to its people with fruitfulness. Whoever believe from them in Allah and the last day, and whoever disbelieve, means Allah saying, shall grant him little enjoyment, 
means in this life, then compel them to torment of fire and a miserable fate in the hereafter. As Abraham lived the foundations of the house and Ismail, they shan't. Our Lord, accept from us, you are the hearing, all-knowing. Our Lord, make us submissive to you, and our offspring a submissive nation to you, and show us our writs and accept our repentance. You are the repentant, the merciful. Our Lord, raise among them a messenger from their own, who recites unto them your verses, and teach them the book and wisdom, and sanctify them. You are the Almighty, the All-Wise. And who desire away from Abraham's religion are but that who in aptitudes their self. And we sifted him, means selected Abraham, in this world and in the hereafter among the righteous. When his God said to him, Submit, he, Abraham, said, I submit to the God of all beings. And Abraham bequested it, I mean on his deathbed, he requested his legacy of submission to God to be continued, to his sons, Ismail and Isaiah, and Jacob. O oh, my sons, Allah has sifted for you the religion, so don't die unless you are submissive. Or were you witnesses, means anyone who dispute, when death came to Jacob, when he said to his sons, What will you worship after my death? They said, We'll worship your God and the God of your fathers, Abraham and Ismail and Isaac. One God and we to him are submissive. That was a past nation, unto it what it earned, and unto you what you are earning. And you will not be asked on what they have done. Mean there is no lineage favor, only God favor the ones who believe and follow his path, regardless of their heritage or lineage. They say, to be guided be a Jew or a Christian, say, rather be Abraham's straight religion. It's a centered, not only materialistic or only spiritual. And he was not polytheist mean he did not worship material world or worship Jesus as partners to God. Say, we, mean the Muslims, believe in Allah and what was sent down to us, means the Quran, and what was sent down to Abraham and Ismail and Isaac and Jacob and the tribes, the 12 sons of Jacob, means Joseph, Benjamin, etc., and what was brought to Moses, the Torah, the Ten Commandments, and Jesus, the Gospel, and what was brought to the prophets via revelation, example, David, Book of Sam, from their God. We, know, we make no distinction between any of them, and we to him, means to Allah, are submissive, i.e., all messengers are prophets had the same message, and we submit to all of them that came from the one God. So if they believe in the like what you believe in, they are rightly guided. And if they turn away, then they are in schism. Allah will suffice you. He is the all hearing, the all knowing. Allah's die means the Quran is ingrained in the Muslim innate senses. And who is better than Allah in dying? And we, means the Muslim, are to him our worshipper. Mean Muslim is submissive to Allah who ingrained the Quran and Islam in their self and their innate senses. Say, means Muhammad, peace be upon him, do you, means the people of the book, the Jews and the Christian, debate us about Allah and he is our God and your God. So for us, our deeds and for you, our deeds, and we to him are faithful. Or you say that Abraham and Ismail and Jacob and the tribes were Jews or Christian. Say, are you more knowing or Allah? And who are most unjust than who conceals a testimony they have from Allah? Example, Muhammad prophecy. And Allah is not oblivious of what you're doing. 
that was past nation unto it what it earned and unto you what you're earning and you will not be asked on what they have done will say the foolish among the people what turned them away from their Qibla means their prayer direction which they were on say to Allah is the sunrise and sunset directions he guides whom he wills to the straight path and thus we made you means Muslims a midmost nation best of both materialism of this world with values of Allah that you will be witnesses over the people when the far left and the far right collapse and the messenger will be a witness over you did we follow Allah's message or not and we did not make the Qibla that you were on but to show who will follow the messenger from who will flip on his heels and it the change of the Qibla was huge it was a big event to argue its reason except for who Allah has guided and Allah would not waste your faith mean the prayers that was done previously towards uh, Jerusalem before changing the direction to Mecca Allah is to people kind and merciful indeed we see your face Muhammad peace be upon him turning in the heavens means toward Mecca looking for Gabriel Gabriel will turn you to a Qibla that content you so turn your face towards the sacred mosque in Kaaba and wherever you are turn your faces towards it mean all Muslims should pray towards the direction of the Kaaba those who have been brought the book means the Jews and the Christian know that he Muhammad peace be upon him is the truth because Muhammad is the messenger that will pray and turn to two directions based on their books and Allah is not oblivious of what they are doing and even if you Muhammad peace be upon him brought to the people of the book all signs they would not follow your Qibla mean the direction of prayer and your path nor you are following their Qibla mean their direction of prayer example facing the statue of Jesus or their way nor some of them follows one another's Qibla mean they are in conflict among themselves on the way and the directions of prayer and if you follow their whims after what has come to you of knowledge thus you are among the wrongdoers those unto whom who brought the book they know him the attributes of Muhammad peace be upon him as a prophet as they knew their own sons and a party of them conceal the truth the truth about the changing of the direction of Mecca is in the book and they knew it it's the truth from your God so don't be among the waivers for each their view which they sponsor mean each Muslim or each religious group has their direction aim or goal whether religious or financial etc Allah knows best so raise to all that is good so start praying and goods giving to your new Qibla wherever you will be Allah will bring you all of course on judgment day for Allah over everything able and from wherever you come out assign your face towards the sacred mosque the new Qibla in Mecca it is the truth the truth direction the way the pass from your God and Allah is not oblivious of what you're doing and from wherever you come out means to pray assign your face towards the sacred mosque in Mecca and wherever you are assign your face toward it so that people mean Jews Christian and others may have no argument on you except the unjust from them so fear them not but fear me so I may complete my blessing upon you that perhaps you might be guided as we have sent upon you people of Mecca a messenger of your own Muhammad peace be upon him who is a Meccan reciting unto you my verses and purifying you and teaching with the book the Quran and wisdom example Islamic law and jurisprudence and teach you that which you did not know so invoke me I remember you and be thankful to me and don't disbelieve all oh, who believed seek assistance through patience and prayer indeed Allah is with the patient and don't say for those who were killed in Allah's way they are dead 
know they're alive, but you don't perceive them, will inflict some of fear and hunger and decrease in funds and souls and rewards, but promise good tiding to the patient. Who, the patient and the believer, if calamity strike them, they say, we belong to Allah and to him we shall return. Those patients upon them prayers mean forgiveness and blessing from their God and mercy, and those are the guided, means on the straight path. The Safa and Marwa, these are two Meccan mountains, are ritual by Allah. It's not part of the pagan's ritual anymore. That's in honor of Hagar, mother of Ismail, son of Ibrahim. So, whoever pil pilgrim to the house or visit, no offense to float or walk by them. And whoever volunteered for goodness, mean for extra, surely Allah is thankful and all-knowing. Those who conceal what we send down of clear evidence and guidance after we have revealed it to the people in the book, example in the Torah and the Gospel, things like oneness of God, clues about Muhammad's prophecy and characteristic, those who are damned by Allah and condemned by the condemners. Except those who repent and amend and openly declare, means openly tell the truth, those whom I will accept the repentant, I am the ever acceptor of repentance, all merciful. Those who disbelieve and die while they are disbelievers, Allah is damned upon them and the angels and all the people, eternally endure in it mean damnation hell, their punishment will not be lightened, nor they will be looked at, mean they will be forgotten in damnation forever. Your God is one God, means undivided. There is no God except him, the all-merciful, the all-compassionate. In the creation of the heavens and the earth, an alteration of the night and the day, and the ships that sails in the sea with what benefits people, and what Allah sent down from the sky of water reviving with it the land after its death, and propagate in it every kind of pounding creatures, means moving, crawling, frying, flying, etc., and the veering of the winds and the clouds that are subservient between the sky and the earth are signs for people who can reason. And among the people are those who take from lower than Allah as peers, mean other than Allah, example, idols, angels, images, statues, they worship them like Allah. They love them as they love Allah, and those who believed are stronger in their love to Allah. And if the ones that wronged, mean wrong themselves by taking other than Allah, would have seen, mean then in their current glory, worldly life, as they see, means now in the hereafter, after resurrection, the torment, and that all powers belong to Allah, and that Allah's torment is severe. When those who are followed, mean falsely worshipped, disown those who followed them, and they all saw the torment, and their ties were cut off. And said the ones that followed, means the wrongdoer, if we only had another round, mean to return back to their worldly life, to disown them, the falsely worshipped ones, as they have disowned us, abandon us now in the hereafter, thus Allah show them their own deeds as anguish upon them, and they will not be leaving hellfire, mean they are not going back to their worldly life as they wish. O oh, people, eat from what in the earth that I allowed that is good, and don't follow the footsteps of Satan. He is to you a clear enemy. He only orders you to what is harmful and obscene, and to say upon Allah what you not know. is deceiving you to say what you have no knowledge about to stray you away from God's path. And if it's said to them, follow what Allah sent down, uncorrupted books, they say, no, we follow what we were accustomed upon from our parents. 
even if their parents don't make any sense. And they, the ones who followed blindly and their parents, were not being guided. The likeness of the disbeliever is like who cow with what he does not listen to, except calls and cries, deaf, dumb, blind, so they don't make sense. They just repeat without thinking or making any sense. Oh, you have believed. Eat from the allowed good things which we have provided you. And thank Allah if it is He you are worshipping. He has forbidden upon you dead animals, who is not slayed alive, and blood, swine, flesh, and what was invoked upon with other than Allah's name. Example, slaughtered for idols. But whoever was compelled not to excess means eat for necessity only and don't return seeking to eat again. No guilt upon him. Allah is forgiving, merciful. Those who conceal what Allah has sent down of the book and buy with it small price, those are not eating in their bellies but fire. A reward for what they're concealing and Allah will not speak to them on resurrection day nor purify them and for them painful torment. Those who bought deception with guidance exchange for deception for guidance and torment for forgiveness. What patient them to seek hellfire? What were they doing? They thought they can tolerate hellfire. That is because Allah had sent down the book with the truth and those who differed over the book, example, the idol worshiper, Jews, Christian, and their denominations are in far schism. They are in irrevocable moral values and disbelief differences. Righteousness is not to integrate your faces towards sunrise, east or sunset, which is west. Addressing all, including Muslims who change their prayer direction from Quds Jerusalem West to Mecca East and Jews who pray to the West to the Quds while Christians pray East. But righteousness is who believed in Allah and the last day and the angels and the book and the prophets and bring forward their money over their love to it. Means give their cherished money or sustenance despite their love to it out of their love to Allah, give it to, to needy, to relatives, orphans, needy, poor, means destitutes, wayfarer, askers, beggars mean, ransom, captives, pay to free slave, war prisoner, and perform prayer and give zakat, which is financial Islamic taxes, and be loyal to their covenant, true to their promise, when they promise, and who are patient in misery and sickness and during distress or during battle, those are the sincere and those are the piously who shielded themselves from Allah's disbelief by obeying and being mindful of God, Allah. Oh, you have believed me, Muslim, written upon you retribution for those murdered, the free for the free and the slave for the slave and the female for the female, and who pardons for him from his brother anything, mean if the slain Muslim guardian pardons the killer who happened to be Muslim, should follow up in common conduct, mean uh, to collect blood money and not to overburden the Muslim killer, and perform in gratitude. This is elevation, it's medication, from your God and mercy. But whoever, mean either party, transgresses after that for him, painful torment and you have life in retribution means it preserve life O people of reason that you may become pious prescribed upon you when death approaches if he leaves good mean excessive value to bequest in addition to normal inheritance to the parents and near relatives in reasonable value a duty on the pious Whoever alter it, this bequest, after hearing it, then its retribution is upon those who alter it. Indeed, Allah, all hearing, all knowing. Who, third party, fears from the bequester unjust inclination, mean favorism, or unjust, intended unjust, 
and correct it between them, reconcile between the bequested and the inheritance, there is no blame, blame on him not to be blamed by them for his effort to or the outcome. Allah is forgiving and merciful. O who believed, fasting was written upon you, like it was written upon those before you, so you may self-restrain. Numbered days, so whoever among you is ill or traveling, so fast other numbered days. And upon those who can endure it, mean they can fast with difficulty, like old or pregnant women, a ransom by feeding a poor person and who voluntarily do more good is good for him yet to fast is best for you if you knew months of ramadan in which the quran was sent down guidance for people and clear statement of guidance and criterion so who witness among you the months fasted and who was ill or traveling so other number days means mean fast the missed days later allah wants for you ease and does not want for you distress and to complete the count mean to complete the missed days and glorify allah for what he guided you to and be thankful and if my worshippers ask you about me i am near i answer the invitation mean the calling and the prayer of the caller if he calls me so respond to me and believe in me that they, mean my worshippers, may be guided. It is made permissible for you the night of fasting to copulate to your women, mean your wives. They are raiment for you and you are raiment for them. Allah know that you used to betray yourself, means you used to copulate and don't resist the desire. He repented upon you and forgave you. So now go ahead and seek what Allah has written for you. And eat and drink until it becomes clear to you the white thread of the dawn from the dark thread of the dawn. Then complete fasting till the night. And don't copulate them while in retreat in the mosque. These are Allah's borders. Don't approach it. Like this Allah makes clear his signs that you may become pious. And don't devour your funds between you in a firm falsehood. And don't pour it onto the ruler, means don't bucket it to the ruler as bribes. To allow you to devour funds of group of people unjustly while you know, means even if the ruler allow you to give bribes, don't do that because that's God has forbidden. And they ask you about the new moons. Uh, the believers are asking the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about the new moons. Say, it's time periods, means a monthly lunar cal calendar, for people and for pilgrims. And it's not righteous to enter houses from the back. It's a superstition that the pagans used to do. But the righteous is to be pious and enter the houses from the front door and ward off Allah, mean fear Allah, don't fear superstitions, that you may flourish. And fight in Allah's path, means defend within Allah's boundary. Those who fight you, aggressor who attack you within Allah's path. And don't transgress, mean over Allah's boundaries, for Allah does not love the transgressors. And kill them. It's a permission to Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the believers to fight the aggressors of Mecca after being enduring hardship and torture for 13 years in Mecca. Where you find them? Only within Allah's path to edify it. And expel them, mean Meccan pagan aggressors, from where they expelled you, from your hometown Mecca. And temptation is far severe than killing mean to force you to disbelieve their torture and allurement is worse than killing. And don't fight them within the sacred worship area, mean sanctuary area of Mecca, until they fight you there. And if they fight you, then kill them. Such is the penalty for the disbelievers. If they cease their aggression on Allah's path, 
Allah is forgiving and merciful. It's a chance for the aggressor to get guided, follow Allah's path and believe. And fight them so there be no temptation. I mean, they don't spread allurement, deception, aggression to sway you away of Allah's path. And until the worship is for Allah, I mean, worshiping is for Allah alone. So if they cease fighting, so no aggression except upon the oppressors, mean the ones that act to oppress you away from Allah's path. The sacred months for the sacred months. They are selected months that fighting is forbidden. And retribution for sacred things in a similar manner. And whoever assaulted you, then assault him in a like manner as he assaulted you. And be pious and know that Allah loves the piously. All action has to be done within Allah's boundaries. And spend in Allah's path means be well prepared. And don't throw with your own hands into destruction means spend wisely. And do good as Allah loves the good doers. And complete your pilgrim and visit to Mecca. And if you are prevented, so whatever feasible offering will do. And don't shave your heads until the offerings reach its intended place. Make sure it's delivered to the needy. And whoever among you was sick or had an ailment from his scalp, so redeem by fasting or charity or offering. And if you are secure, then whoever completed the visit and the pilgrim, then offer what feasible. And if he cannot find that, then fast three days during his pilgrims and seven if you return back to your family. Those are 10 complete days. This for those whose family is not present by the sacred worship, mean non-resident of Mecca, and be mindful of Allah and know that Allah is stern in his punishment. The pilgrimage are well-known months, so whoever imposed their to pilgrim, no sexual behavior, no violations of Allah's commands, nor altercations during pilgrimage. And whatever good you do, Allah knows. And take provisions. Indeed, the best provision is piousness. And be mindful of me, O people of reason. There is no blame on you for seeking livelihood, mean trading. When you overflow from Arafat, it's a mountain in Mecca, praise Allah near the sacred place for what he gui guided you to, as you were before it among the stray. Then flood from where the people flooded, per Abraham practice in the past, and ask forgiveness of Allah, for Allah is forgiving and merciful. And if you completed your rituals, commemorate Allah as you used to commemorate your fathers, mean in loud voices, or with greater commemoration. As among the people is who who says, Oh God, give me in this world, and he will have no share in the hereafter. And among them who says, our God bring to us in this life good and the hereafter good and protect us from hellfire torment. Those will have a share of what they have earned and Allah is swift at reckoning. I mean both groups wish and God can reward and punish swift, swiftly in this life and also in the hereafter as he wishes. Commemorate Allah during the numbered days. Whoever hasten in two days, that means instead of three, no blame unto them. And whoever extend, no blame unto him. For whoever is pious, uh, means it's not the days that count, it's who he is mindful of Allah during his stay in pilgrimage. And fend from Allah and know that you unto him will be crammed. It's a comparison to the cramming during crowded uh, pilgrim time. And among the people whose saying will please you in this worldly life, a hypocrite will please you in only worldly matters. And he calls Allah to witness as to what he is in his heart. He swears by Allah, cross my heart. Yet he is a fierce opponent, holds hidden enmity to you and himself. And if rules become an authority, he strives in the land to spoil it and destroys the tilth and the breed, means the crop of the land and offspring of human. And Allah does not love mischief. And if told to him, fear Allah, mean you've been exposed, we know you're a hypocrite, defend yourself from Allah. He pride in his iniquity, take over him. His payoff is Jahannam, which is hellfire, 
what a miserable crater. And among the people who sell himself desiring Allah's approval, and Allah is kind to the worshippers, all who have believed enter into all the peace, means submit to Allah, lead to peace with Allah, his creation and yourself, and don't follow in the footsteps of Satan. He is for you a clear enemy. And if, if you deviate after what have came to you from clear signs, then know that Allah is invincible, wise. Do they look until Allah comes to them into shades of clouds and angels? Then the matters are settled and to Allah returns all matters. Mean it would be too late if they didn't return back to Allah before resurrection day. Ask the children of Israel how many clear signs we brought to them. And whoever replaces Allah's boon after it came to him, then Allah is severe in punishment. Embellished means beautified with sparkles to the disbelievers this worldly life. And they mark those who believe and the pious are above them on the day of resurrection. And Allah provides to whom he wills without account. The people were one nation, I mean Adam, Eve and their offsprings. Then Allah raised the prophets promising, bearing good news and warning, and brought down with them the book, with it the truth, to judge with it between the people and what they differed in. And none differed over it except those who it was given to, I mean the Jews and the Christians. And after they have received clear evidence, and that is out of hostility among themselves. So Allah guided those who believed in what they have differed from of the truth, I mean guided who believed away from falsehood to the truth, with his permission. And Allah guides whom he wills to the straight path. Or did you figure, I mean Muhammad, peace be upon him, later followers, that you will enter paradise without coming to you similar to those who has passed on? They were touched by hardship and harm and were shaken until the messenger and who believed with him says, when is Allah's support? The believer says, indeed Allah's support is near, say the prophet. They ask you, Muhammad peace be upon him, what should they spend? Say what you spend from good, mean must be good and legal, is for the parents, the biological parents, and relatives, and orphans, and destitute, and the wayfarers, and whatever you do of good, Allah is with it aware. Prescribed upon you fighting, and it's hateful for you, but conceivably that you hate something that's good for you. It's better than oppression by the disbeliever that can deviate you from Allah's path. And conceivably that you love something and it's evil for you. And Allah knows and you don't know. They ask you about combat in the sacred months, which is month 7, 11, 12 of the Islamic calendar. Say combat in it is big, it's banned. And repelling from Allah's path and disbelief in him and the sacred worship place, which is Mecca, and expelling its people from it is bigger at Allah. And temptation, the allurement for you to disbelieve, is bigger than being killed, means better dead than disbelief. And they, the disbeliever, will continue to fight you. I mean, will fight you in the sacred months if they're winning, until they turn you back from your religion if they're able. And whoever of you, means Muslim, return back from the religion and dies as disbeliever, so those their deeds have collapsed in this life and the hereafter, and those are companions of the fire in it for eternity. Those who believed and those who migrated, they migrated from their hometown Mecca because of oppression by the Meccan pagans, and strove in Allah's path, are those who hope for Allah's mercy, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. They ask you about the intoxicant, means any substance that eventually veil the brain ability to reason. And gambling, say, in them great misdeed, harm, error, sin, evil, so on. And benefits for people, yet some benefits, easy winning, financial trading, some health benefit in wine, etc. But their misdeed, 
I mean physically, morally, and spiritually, is greater than their benefits. And they ask you, what should we spend? Say the excess means over what you need. This is how Allah make clear to you his signs that you may contemplate in this life and after life and what kind of person you'll be living and your purpose in life and so on. In this life and the hereafter. And they ask you about the orphans. Say, improvement for them is best. Means be righteous and if possible enhance their affairs according to Allah's borders. And if you mix, mean mix your affairs due to necessity. They are your brothers. Treat them like caring family. And Allah knows the corrupted from the reformers. And if Allah has willed, he could have burdened you by not allowing you mixing your affairs with the orphans. And Allah is mighty, wise. Don't marry polytheistic women, the one that worship more than one God, until they believe truly in Allah as one God. And a believing slave is better than a polytheist, even if you liked her. And don't marry the polytheistic men, now addressing Muslim women, until they believe. And the believing slave is better than a polytheist, even if you liked him. Those, the polytheistic, invites you to the fire, and Allah invites you to paradise and to forgiveness by his permission. And he may clear his signs for people, perhaps that they may remember. You know, to remember to be righteous, uh, make good choices in life, remember God and his commands. And they ask you about menstruation. Say it's harm. So retire from women in menstruation and don't approach them, mean no intercourse, until they purify, mean menstruation ends. So once they have purified, means cleansed, then come unto them from where Allah commanded you. Indeed, Allah love, loves the repentant, means spiritual purification, and loves who purify themselves, mean physical purification. Your women are tilth for you, means to nourish and labor into them, will result in good life and good offspring, like well-treated soil tilth. And come to your tilth place of procreation how you will. It's uh, from any position to deny a cultural belief about positions, example, uh, set by shoes. And set force for yourselves, mean plan before you get married and preserve yourself physically and spiritually during marriage. And be pious, means be mindful and shield yourself from Allah's punishment by obeying him. And know that you shall meet him, you know, in the day of resurrection. And give good tidings to the believers. Reminder to be patient to earn the rewards in this life and the hereafter. Don't make Allah an obstacle in your oath not to do good. Mean go out of your way to do good and don't say I swear in Allah's name not to. And to be pious and mend between people. And Allah is hearing knowing. Allah will not obligate you. On idle swears, I mean empty swears at anger or ignorance, etc. But will obligate you with what your hearts have earned, I mean well established and intended swears. And Allah is forgiving, forbearing, and for not obligating you onto empty swears. Those who swears on their women, I mean example no intercourse due to dispute, lurks, I mean wait closely for four months. And if they revert, mean resume marital relation within these four months, then Allah is forgiving merciful. If they are determined, mean after four months, either men or women, to divorce, then Allah is hearing and knowing. Divorced women hold to themselves for three purification. It's a waiting period apart from their husband and from remarrying. And it's not allowed for them to conceal what Allah created in their womb, uh, their count of their period or their pregnancy if they believe in Allah and the last days, and their husbands has more right to return them back, I mean during the three months waiting period over someone else who proposed, if they want to mend, both agree truly to reconcile, then do to them, the wives, what expected of them per what is known, I mean reasonably common, acceptable to Allah, and men, strong able men, are a step above them, example in stewardship, not ownership, and Allah mighty and wise, Divorce, verbal with intent, is twice. 
two times and the husband has no right to return her back without her agreement. Either grasp to return back to each other with acceptable manner or release with kindness. And it's not lawful to take anything that you have given her, example, dowry and jewelry, unless they, husband and wife, fear that they cannot keep Allah's boundaries. And if you feared, husband and wife, and maybe guardians, that they will not keep Allah's boundaries, so no blame upon them on which she can ransom herself. Example, forgo her dowry. Uh, she still wants to divorce despite her husband follows Allah's command. These are Allah's borders, so don't cross it. And whoever crosses Allah's borders, they are the unjust. If he divorces her, verbal for the third time, then she is not lawful to him until she remarries a husband other than him. If he divorces her, means a later husband, there is no blame upon them, the woman and her first husband, to return if they will to uphold Allah's boundaries. And these are Allah's boundaries. He make it clear for people that knows. And when you divorce women and they reach their term, mean three purification, hold to them according to common terms and don't hold to them to harm than to transgress. And who does that has certainly wronged himself. And don't take Allah's verses for a mockery. And remember Allah's favor upon you, mean the divorce legislations, and what he brought down from the book and wisdom to preach you with. Be pious and know that Allah is aware of all things. And when you divorce women, meet twice, and they reach their term, three purification, don't prevent them from remarrying their husbands, ex-husband, if they kindly agree among themselves. This is advice to whoever of you believe in Allah in the last day. That is wiser for you and purer. And Allah knows and you don't know. Mother would breastfeed the children two whole years for those who wants to complete a nursing period and for the offspring upon him, mean the father, to provide and clothing, the offspring and the mother, in the, in the common manner. No soul, mean mother and father, would bear except its capacity. No birth giver, mean mother, would be harmed by her child and no father by his child. And upon the heir like that, I mean the same for the heir in case of the father and mother dies. And if they want to separate, through mutual consent and consolation, no blame upon them. And if you wanted to complete breastfeeding your offspring, mean mother to breastfeed after divorce or by wet nurse, no blame upon you to give maybe payment according to what is common. And be pious and know that Allah is aware of what you do. And those who die among you and leave wives, they crouch with themselves four months and ten mean 10 nights, and if they reach their turn, there is no blame upon you for what they do with themselves in what's common. And Allah is informed of what you do. There is no blame upon you in what you insinuate of to propose to women, means widows, or conceal within yourself. Allah knows that you will mention to them, mean you intend to marry them once the four months and 10 days past. But don't promise them in secrecy, except to say proper saying, example, delicately show interest. And don't determine the not, mean contract of marriage, of consummation until the decreed period ends. And know that Allah knows what is in yourself. So beware and know that Allah is forgiving, forbearing. No blame upon you if you divorced women you have not touched, means consummated marriage or specified for them an obligation, in dowry, and lavish them, the flourishing, in the affluent, to his capacity, and the scant, in the poor, to his capacity. Lavishing according what is common is a duty upon the good doers. If you divorce them before you touch them, and had committed to them a commitment, like dowry, then half what you have committed, unless they, the women, forego or forgo who holds the consummate marriage tie, like husband forgo the half to his wife. And if you forgo husband or wife half, is nearest to the righteousness. And don't forget favorism, mean to be kind, between you. Indeed, Allah of what you do is seer. Maintain the prayers and the midmost prayers and stand before Allah in obedience. 
And if you feel mean enemy attack while you're praying during a conflict, on foot or riding, mean pray on foot or riding. But when secure, then praise Allah as he taught you that you did not know. And those who dies and leaves behind partners, mean wives, bequest unto their wives provision for a year without turning them out. If they leave, there is no blame upon you for what they do themselves in a common acceptable manner. And Allah is mighty and wise. And the divorced, mean women, provision as common, mean within reasonable and ability, a duty upon the pious. Thus Allah makes clear to you his verses that you might understand, mean to reason and manage your life and impact on afterlife. Have you not seen, uh, if Allah says it, it's true like seeing it yourself, even if he did not. Those who left their homes in the thousands, warned of death, uh, they left to avoid dying. Example, Israelites from Egypt. Allah said to them, die. I mean, death in, is in Allah's hand only. Then he revived them, for Allah is of excess upon people. I mean, he has bounty over what you planned or expected. But most people are not thankful and fight in Allah's path, and know that Allah is all hearing, all knowing. I mean, no fear as death is in Allah's hands only, and if you die in Allah's path, you will get excess bounty better than fleeing or disbelieving. Who is that that loans Allah a well loan, a righteous source guaranteed loan in the form of obeying Allah and offering his self in Allah's path? He, means Allah, will multiply it for him many multiple times. And Allah collect, mean he personally collect the loan, and extends personally pay back the loan, and unto him you return. Have you not seen the filling, mean overcrowded assembly, of the children of Israel after Moses, after the time of Moses died, as they said to their prophet, send, mean ask God to appoint, to us a king, and we will fight in Allah's path. He said, Had you hoped if fighting is prescribed upon you that you would not fight? They said, Why would we not fight in the path of Allah when we have been driven out, out of our homes and children? Their homes and children taken is a reason to fight, not Allah's path. And when fighting was prescribed to them, I mean the children of Israel, they turned away except a few of them, and Allah knows the unjust. And their prophet said to them that Allah has sent to you Talut, which is Saul, as king. They said, how can he has kingdom over us, and we are more right, mean worthy, of kingship than him, and he has not gotten ample of money. He said, the prophet, that Allah has filtered him, mean fine selected, over you and increased and extended to him knowledge and body, mean physical strength, and Allah gives his kingdom to whom he wills, and Allah is all ample, all knower, knowing, mean has wide choice and knows the right choice. And their prophet said to them, the sign of his, mean soul, kingship, is that the casket, which is the lost ark of the covenant, will come to you in it tranquility from your God and remnant of what left by the household of Moses and household of Aaron, carried by the angels. Indeed, this is a sign for you if you are believers. One Talut, which is Saul, detached with the soldiers, he said that Allah will scourge you, mean test you, with a river. Whoever drink from it is not of me, mean will not stay with me for battle. And whoever does not taste it is of me, except who scoop a scoop with his hand, by the, but they drank from it except a few of them. And when they crossed, he, means Saul, and those who believed with him, they said, we have no energy today against Galut, which is Goliath, and his soldiers. And said the ones that thought they would meet Allah, mean get strength from their belief in Allah, how many times a few groups overcame many groups by Allah's permission, Allah, is with the patient. When they emerged to Galut, which is Goliath, and his soldiers, they said, Our God, pour on us patience and firm our feet and give us victory over the disbelieving folk. They defeated them, mean Goliath, by Allah's permission, and David killed Galut, and Allah brought him, mean David, kingship, 
and wisdom and taught him what he wishes. Had not Allah thrust means shoved in conflict, people, some against some, the earth would have been corrupted by people's free will in matters that control, create conflict which Allah allows his conflicts to eliminate the dominance by one power, especially unjust power. Example, David versus Goliath, Persia and Rome, US and Russia, good versus evil or evil versus evil. But Allah is gracious upon the world, meaning good eventually wins by Allah's graciousness. These are Allah's verses. We recite them upon you, means Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the truth and you are among the messengers. Those messenger we favored some over some, among them who spoke to Allah, example Moses, and lifted some of them in ranks, and brought to Isa the son of Maryam clear proof, miracles to confirm, confirm his prophecy, and supported him with the Holy Spirit. If Allah had willed, those after them, mean the generation that followed these messenger, would not have fought, mean among themselves. After that, they have received these clear proofs but they differed and among them who believed and among them who disbelieved and if Allah has willed they would have not fought but Allah does what he wants or you have believed spend from what we provided you before comes a day no selling nor friendship no intercession and the disbelievers are the unjust Allah no deity except him the living mean the ever living, the upholder mean the only sustainer. No sleepness takes him, nor sleep. To him belongs what in the heavens and in the earth. Who is that to intercede by him except by his permission? He knows what is between their hands, mean what's seen in front of them and the unseen future ahead of them. And what is behind them mean the unseen past. And they don't encompass anything of his knowledge except of what he wills, encompass his seat, mean his throne, the heavens and the earth, and does not burden him to preserve them, and he is the most high, most great. No compulsion in religion. The guidance is clear from the wrong path. So who disbelieve in the tyrannous, which includes false gods, devil, oppressor, hypocrites, etc., and believe in Allah, has grabbed the trustworthy handle, the tight braided rope, which is Allah's religion. No schizophrenia to it, mean it's tight, balanced religion that don't tear and no unsettled delusion or contradiction in it. And Allah is the hearing and knowing. Allah is the guardian of those who believed. Bring them out from darkness, mean all darkness, to light mean to one light, one religion. And those who disbelieved, their guardians are the tyrants, mean tyrants, false god, devil, oppressor, hypocrites, etc., shall bring them out from the light to the darkness. Those are the companion of the fire. They will be in it eternally. Have you not seen who debated Ibrahim about his god, that Allah brought him kingship? just because Allah gave him kingship. When Abraham said, My God who gives life and death, said the disbeliever king, I keep life and death, mean I order to kill or let free. Said Abraham, Then Allah brings the sun from the east, so bring it from the west. So fail, mean fate, pale his face and argument, who disbelieved, and Allah does not guide the unjust. For as who passed by a village, it's a Hebrew man called al uzir and it's empty upon its roof, mean fallen in ruin, said, how can Allah revive this after its death? So Allah deadened him, mean caused him to die, for a hundred years, then revived him, said Allah, how long has you remained? Said, I remained a day or a part of a day, said, means Allah, no, you remained a hundred years. Look at your food and drink did not age. And look at your donkey and will make you a sign, mean a miracle, for the people. And look at the bones, means of your dead donkey, how we build it, then cloth it with flesh. When it became clear to him, how can Allah revive? 
after death, said, I know Allah is over everything able. As Abraham said, God, show me how you revive the dead, said Allah. Have not you believe? Said, yes, I means I believe. But to comfort my heart, said Allah. Take four birds and conjoin them to you, mean recognize them, then slaughter and mix the parts. Then put on each hill a part of the mixed parts. Then invite them. They will seek you back, means they'll fly back to you. And know that Allah is mighty, wise. The example of who spend their money in the path of Allah is like a seed that sprouted seven spikes. In each spike a hundred grain. And Allah multiplies for whom he wills. And Allah is ample and knowing. Those who spend their money in the path of Allah, then don't follow what they spend by gloating or injuring them, mean by bragging and oppressing the charity receiver. They will have their wages at their God. They will have no fear, nor they will have sorrow. Favorite mean common good, saying and forgiveness. Better, rewarding. Then charity followed by injury and Allah affluent for bearing. Oh, you believed. Don't revoke your charities by gloating and injuries. As does who spend their money to embellish, mean to embellish himself, among the people and does not believe in Allah and the last day. The like that of a stone, means a smooth, poreless stone, upon a dust was struck by a rainstorm, which left it bare. They are unable of anything they earned, mean they can't keep their charity earning deeds, are washed off and lost. And Allah does not guide the disbelieving folk. And the like who spend their money seeking Allah's satisfaction and confirmed by themselves, mean a sincere donation, is like a seed on a hilltop, mean its root don't rot from flood, stricken by a rainstorm that yield its produce in two doubles. And if not stricken by a rainstorm, then it do, means a little mist will be sufficient to produce the same result. And Allah of what you do is seeing. Would one of you like to have a garden of palms and grapes? Underneath it, rivers flow and has in it of all kind of fruits. Then he was stricken by old age and he has weak of springs. Then was stricken in the garden by a tornado within it fire and it burns. That's how Allah makes clear to you his signs that you may reflect mean result of spending your money not in Allah's path. Oh, you have believed, spend from your righteous earnings, example, labor earnings, and from what we provided to you from the earth, example, knowledge, and don't allot inferior to spend, while you would not take it unless with closed eyes, means don't just give away what you would not take for yourself. And know that Allah is all sufficient, praiseworthy. Satan promises you poverty. Example, he whispered to you, if you donate, you will become poor. Why share what's yours with others? And commands you with obscenity, means immorality, malice, and stinginess. And Allah promises you forgiveness and abundance, mean more of what you like. And Allah is ample giving, all knowing. Brings, means Allah, wisdom to whomever he wills and whomever was brought wisdom, being brought much good, and none will remember except the mindful, means a people who can reason and follows Allah's guidance and path. And whatever you spend of spending over, vowed, and vow, mean to spend above Allah's commanded, Allah knows it, and the unjust has no supporters. If you disclose your charity is a blessing, other will follow suit, good for you and society. And if you conceal it and bring it to the poor, mean directly, is good for you, means spiritually, and will redeem against your faults, against your bad deeds. And Allah is in whichever you do, is an aware expert. Not upon you, mean Muhammad, peace be upon him. Their guidance is not responsible for, to guide them. As Allah will guide who he wills, 
And whatever you spend of good is for yourself. And whatever you spend is only for seeking Allah's face in guidance and acceptance. And whatever you spend of good will be entrusted back to you. And you will not be unjustified. You will not be wronged or shortchanged. The poor who has been besieged in Allah's path, who are unable to strike in the earth, mean to seek livelihood, example due to physical or mental illness. The ignorant, I count them as rich, I mean self-sufficient, because of their chastity. They abstain from asking for donation. You recognize them by their demeanor. They look modest, but look needy. They don't ask people unless blanketed, mean fully surrounded by the need. And whatever you spend of good, Allah of it is knowing. Those who spend their funds, mean charity, by night and day, secretly and publicly, for them their pay at Allah, no fear upon them, nor they will be sad. Since all capital and means created by Allah, earth, life, etc., humans are like a paid laborer by Allah. Those who devour inflated usury, mean inflation of capital by adding interest and also charging excess interest by, adding, by taking advantage of the needy or situation that causes hardship and inflation, don't rise except like the ones that been stumbled by Satan's touch, mean shoved aimlessly around with hysteria, no balance and harmony bewitched by Satan, that they said that trading is like inflated usury. And Allah allowed trading and forbid inflated usury. Whoever gets his God's admonition and desist, making stop inflated usury, for him what passed, mean his capital and his gain, and his affairs, futures, rest with Allah. And whoever returns, then those are the companions of fire that will abide in it eternally. Allah annihilates inflated usury and inflates truthful, and Allah does not love every unrighteous infidel. Those who believe and do righteous deeds and establish prayer and bring back zakat, for them their pay at Allah, no fear upon them, nor they will be sad. O believers, fend from Allah, means shield yourself from Allah by obeying his commands. Give up what remains of the inflated usury if you are believers. If you do not do, then listen of a word from Allah and his messenger, Muhammad peace be upon him. And if you repent, then for you, your principle, so you don't inflict unjust on the borrowers, nor you be unjustly, mean you get your principle and Allah's support. And if was, mean the borrower, insolvent, so look for easement, try to install. And if you give it up, mean the principle, as charity, this is better for you if you knew. Fend against the day, you will be returned back to Allah and tendered, mean compensated, as promised for what you earned and will not be wronged. Oh, you have believed, if you commit to a debt for a named term, mean for future time, write it and let a scribe, experienced third party, write between you in justice. And no scribe refused to write as Allah has taught him and will be dictated by the obligated, mean the person with the burden, and would fend himself, the obligated and the scribe obey Allah, not to dictate or write with intention to deceive. Allah is his God. Remember, Allah is God, not the lender, and not scuffing anything. And if the one upon which the right, the debtor, is mentally incompetent or weak, or incapable of dictating himself, allow his guardian to dictate justly and bear witness. Two witness from your men, present credible witnesses. And if they were not two, two men, then one man and two women that satisfy you as witness, that one of them, the women witness, might stray Witness need to be available and in touch with the trading society. Then the other one can remind the other without duress. No witness refuse to if they are called. 
and don't get bored to write any small or big mean details concerning future terms. That's more premium in just at Allah and more upright for the testimony. And the least to not be suspicious mean don't overdo. If it is an available trade mean present exchange, you manage in between you. So there is no blame upon you not to write it. And take witness when you settle a transaction, mean get paid. And let no scribe or witness be harmed physically, financially or emotionally. And if you do that, harm the scribe, that will be immoral in by you, mean you're disobeying Allah and attain pity. And Allah teaches you and Allah all of everything is all knowing. And if you are on a journey and can't find the scribe, then a security deposit in hand. And if one trusted the other, then the entrusted should perform his trust and act in pity of his God. And don't conceal a testimony. And whoever conceal it, he has tainted his heart on Allah of what you do, all knowing. For Allah what in the heavens and earth, and if you reveal what is within yourselves or conceal it, Allah will bring you to account with it and forgives whoever he wills and punishes whomever he wills and Allah over everything capable. The messenger has believed in what was brought to him from his God and the believers, I mean the Muslim belief too. All of them believes in Allah and his angels and his books and his messengers we don't differentiate between any of his messengers. And they, the believer, say, We heard and obey your forgiveness, our God. We are doing our best and all up to your mercy. And to you, our faith, all of what we do are destined to you. Allah does not charge a soul except its broaden, mean its capacity, for it what earned and upon it what acquired. Our God, the believer prayers, don't take against us if we forget or errored. Our God, don't hold to us a covenant, I mean that caused hardship, as what you uphold upon those before us. Example, the Jews asking for more unnecessary details that burden them, and the Christian committing to priesthood celibacy on their own that they cannot uphold. And don't hold on us with what we have no energy by it. And pardon us and forgive us and have mercy upon us. You are our patron. So support us over the disbelieving people. This is the end of chapter 2, the cow. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين